Hey guys, and welcome to Diecast TV. Today so I'll be doing a review on Lee Racing, who was part of the 2014 Meldorado show. He was a chase, so that means he will never be released again. He cannot be re-released. He is number two out of nine, and there's this card art for him. I would even kind of wish they moved him over a little because they have all this empty space, so they more centered him right here. Probably would be nice. But if you come here, you can see where this like beaker. Um, that's like the, he's engineering all, and also I don't actually know if he would be considered a lemon or not a lemon, but like a bad guy, because he might have known because we don't really know much backstory to him, so he might have known, and he was with Maldacra, and so he could have also went to jail after that, or he could have just been unknown, clueless, and been and doing what Maldacra told him, and he would not went to jail. So we don't really know the black backstory to him, but I do wonder if these scientists like um. The other two, uh, what was their names? I don't remember their names. The, uh, Pity Tupac. Uh, Nate Stanchion and, uh, Jessica Jam Patrol. Um, I do wonder if they went to jail as well or they were innocent. innocent. But anyway, the description is, If the townsfolk tune in as Miles Meldorado interviews Miles Axelrod about his new super fuel and the t first ever World Grand Prix. Chase vehicles comprises less than 1% of vehicles in this assortment and the cars on the back are... Hudson Hornet, Pissin Cup, Lane McQueen, Maldorado, Raider, Baby. Uh, Wheel Well Guido, Lee Racer, and that's it because we have Royal Guido. So it's time for that. We're at Top Row here, so. Um, yeah, let's open Lee Racer up. Here is Lee out of the packet. A very nice one. Here's a like beacon type thing. It's like rubbery plastic type. And you can see just green. So, it was engineering it. He was seen in one of the screenshots with like a beacon right here. Engineering him. He was seen in the movie. So, it's a Nate Stanchion and Jessica Jam Patrol. They were also working with the accessories they came in. Or like uh, Nate Stanchion. You know, he came with accessories, but I just really had like a pencil. And then, actually, they came with like a clipboard. So, so here's Lee Racing. He's not. He's determined, very determined to make this explosive fuel that will kill. Didn't really kill anyone. They were planning to kill people. And Rip Clutch Gollum was actually meant to die in the um, movie, but they did make him die. They just made him uh, crash. His license plate reads A B five two T Q P, and he's number two hundred seven. Apparently, like Puget number two hundred seven. And I think he's a Puget because it's right there. It says Puget. And that's the Puget logo. There's the Puget logo right there. It has like, these goggles. Kind of like uh, Nate Stanchion. And headlights. Very nice headlights. It's actually a very nice car. And if you think there's another Puget in the car line, you are correct. Mary Esco car. Um, but I don't actually know if they're the same model. They look to be very similar. They actually might be. Of course, they're different molds because they need to put this in Mary. So they made like a hole here. Because they need to put this in Mary. But other than that, I actually think they're the same model. Maybe a little different. No, I think they're the same. Got him up wheel. Yeah, I think they're the same. It might be just a tad different, but let's compare um Lee Racy to Petro Cutlina of a hamburger's model. Okay. See um Lee Racy is quite a bit smaller. smaller compared to Petro. And they both kind of share the same look, kind of a rounded type of kind of like a hatchback. Not really an SUV like Charlie Cargo, but not really just a regular type of car, like um, Jeff Corvette, for example. Not really a type of regular car, like a Corvette, but not an SUV, like Sarge or Charlie Cargo. Kind of like these ones. These guys aren't really SUVs. I wouldn't call them SUVs. They're smart cars. I think that's what they're supposed to be, but I don't really know what smart cars are considered in real, in, uh, real life. I'm not really actually sure if they're considered 
SUVs are just like regular sedans or coupes. So I don't want to do it. It could be coupes, but uh, I don't know what shit. But let me know. But, yeah, so that's what I think. These are like the types of uh, hatchbacks. So, take a more closer look here. So, it's not, you can't have making them drink it and, um, probably wouldn't want to be drinking it anyways. But, uh, very nice detail here, kind of how it hooks up onto the, like, the visor hooks onto the headband. And it, I think, is, like, glued onto the front there, because maybe there's holes right there. But, yeah, definitely, every race is a very nice one. If I would have to say which one's my favorite, it would be Mary Escobar and him. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't be able to choose, because Lee Ray I like the plainness on him, but also, like, the color on Mary Escobar, so... I don't think I could tell you which one I like better, so uh, let me know which one you like better, guys, and um, thanks for watching this video. So, thanks for watching this video, guys, and bye-bye. Um,